Well, let me just set the scene. Right behind us, you have the plane and the median. This is Bruce B. Downs. You know how many people travel Bruce B. Downs every single day. And then beyond that, you've got I-75, one of the busiest highways around. So you can certainly imagine all the people that are passing this right now are going to go home to the wife, the husband, the family, to whomever, and say, you are not going to believe what I saw happen today. As we understand it about an hour ago, from Tampa Executive Airport, which is a little southeast of here, a guy took off. It used to be called Vandenberg, for those of us who have been around a little bit longer. He had some kind of engine problem, according to Tampa Police Department, and somehow, somehow landed in the median. Now, you look at the size of the median, and you say, that's not very big. Usually, obviously, planes are landing on runways. It takes them quite a while to do that. In this little bit of grass, this little grassy area, you have very little leeway to the right and to the left. So it's kind of amazing he had the skill to put this down safely. He could have gone into traffic going both ways. Would that have been a disaster? A few minutes ago, we spoke to one guy who was coming south on I-75. The plane was coming north. He was first in line, and he was thinking, you know what's going to happen? I think this is going to be the end of it. I am going to lose my life because we're going to do a head-on. The plane made a turn to the right and ended up there, which is pretty amazing. I can tell you that the FAA is the major, the lead investigator on this. Haven't heard from them yet, but of course they're going to go through everything with a fine-tooth comb, and that has got to be moved. So hopefully that'll happen within the next few hours. Wow, Ken, you're right. I mean, that was a little strip of grass that he, he managed to land that in, so kudos to him, and we hope everybody's okay. Yeah. Thank you.